Hi fellow dog fanciers, long time no see but last week was hectic and every time I tried to film that video something went wrong. Either I had no time because I had no brains left or uh, it was storming outside so the light was awesome and yeah I just couldn't get the video out in time so I thought instead of putting it out in a weird day of the week I'm just going to skip until the week after so here we are I'm sorry to those of you who expected a video on Friday um, but I guess when life gets in the way there is not so much we can do about it regardless I'm here with Lacey today yes she is here and I don't even know how she stays with a blanket at this time. It's 25 Celsius. Uh, it's quite warm. I am dying here and she requested a blanket. For today's video, I thought I'm going to do something a little bit different. Since the majority of my subscribers are Whippet owners or soon to be Whippet owners and I have made uh, various Whippet videos so far and I thought it would be fun and interesting to include some other Whippets. So I asked some other Whippet owners to submit videos to me that they find funny or that they show typical Whippet behaviors or just something unusual and nice to see. So thank you so much to all of you who submitted your videos. I'm going to try and include as many as possible, but I might not be able to put all of them in the video because I don't want it to be two hours long. So we will see how that goes. If you don't see your video here, don't be offended and don't worry because I'm planning to make such videos in the future as well. Before we get into the video, I want to say thank you so much to all of you who keep on subscribing and to my lovely subscribers who are so kind in the comment section. I'm glad that these videos make you smile and that you learn something new every time and that you get to enjoy some extra Whippet content. And if you haven't subscribed yet, you can do so now because it really means the world to me. So thank you if you do subscribe. Let's get into the video. So if the light is a little bit inconsistent, that's because the weather is acting like the typical woman today. And can you make up your mind? Are you going to rain or are you going to sunshine? What are you going to do? Okay, so I'm going to move here so that we have more space here where I can put the videos. So I asked the owners to include their Whippets names. However, I guess some of them forgot. So when there is a name, I will mention it. When there is not, obviously I won't. And if I don't pronounce a name correctly, please excuse me because I have a hidden talent of butchering names. Uh, so I will try, but if it doesn't work out, I'm sorry. First we have Ernie who is six months old and had his first beach trip. And that's so cute to see because uh, some whippets hate water but others tend to love it and really enjoy going to the beach or to a lake. Uh, it's so nice to see the joy, the excitement and just the fact that they have no idea what this weird thing is. Uh, their reaction is priceless so if you have some sort of a beach or a big water place uh, close to you, take your whip it there. It might be a hit or miss, but you will never know until you try it and your whip it might love it. Next up, we have Foxy, thanks to whom we are witnessing a true murder scene. I think there will be no chance of rehab for that hedgehog, I believe it is. And Foxy, I have two the same destroyers like you and these are Ruby and Cooper and they will not stop until they get everything out of this toy. 
to a point of no recognition. So Foxy, if you want to have a toy murder party, I can send them out your way for a few days. I guess it will be fun and your owner will have to enjoy a lot of cleaning after that. Next up we have Elsie having fun in the long grass and when I saw this I found it so funny because I have literally only seen one gif that shows a dog jumping like this through high grass and uh, they always remind me of those animals, those antelopes or gazelles. What is the name? Like what is the name? This is embarrassing, I should know that. Uh, one second, please. Springboks, this is the name. Of course, if I'm not pronouncing it completely the wrong way. But thank you for this video of Elsie. I love whippets having fun and running free and it's so entertaining to see them reacting to strange stuff such as high grass or water. Next up, we have a video from a genius whippet owner who discovered the bubble wrap trick. And if you don't know what it is, I discovered it by accident. I received the package wrapped in bubble wrap and I thought what a good idea to give it to the whippets and Ruby found it so enjoyable. I think like they feel that they're killing the bubbles and they enjoy the popping noise. So if you haven't given bubble wrap to your whippets just yet or dogs because I bet some other dogs would enjoy them too, just do it, sit back and enjoy. Under supervision, of course, because some might chew it up, swallow it, and it would not be very good for their stomach. Before I play the next video, may I just say that I'm suffering from a big issue, and this is cuteness aggression. And my trigger is whippet puppies, because that is the cutest little thing out there and I just can't. Like all my whippets here really suffer through their puppy age because I just can't leave them alone. So be prepared for this next video because it's one of the cutest things you will see today. So I don't know her name but her owner said that she's 10 weeks old and she is just discovering her voice and if you don't know that whippets can be very talkative and if they turn to be the more talkative types of dogs this really starts showing from an early age and you may or may not know that whippets can be very emotional and Sometimes they cannot express their emotions using body language, so they put their voice into action. Next up we have what we like to call zoomies and if you don't know what zoomies are, watch this video of Zelda. So I always wonder how do they manage to make 176 circles and then run an almost perfectly straight line without looking like they're dizzy whatsoever. Uh, I really think that whippets are some of the most funny, weird and incredible creatures on this planet. Next up we have more zoomies and a very confused buddy who thinks his whippet friend is broken. I understand the concern because sometimes I get worried as well. Sometimes I think they're broken and I don't know, I don't know how to repair them, it's, it's crazy. And here is Mr. Weasley, uh, whose owner has been very creative by giving him a puzzle toy. And that is really nice because whippets have brains and some of them would benefit very highly from a puzzle toy. And I always think of buying a puzzle toy and every single time I forget and I really should do it and film it because I think it's going to be amazing. So good job to Weasley's owner for thinking out of the box and providing some mental enrichment to Weasley. And now we have a video of Holly that left me speechless and I my heart is just melting. Just look at that cuteness. I can I don't know. I don't have words to express that. Just 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 look at it. It's so cute. This makes me want baby rabbits again and I don't want any rabbits anymore for other reasons but yeah that's just adorable and I'm sure that the owner trusts her whippet completely. This is just so cute and I'm sure 
She wouldn't have done it unless she thought it was safe. This is just so cute and reminds me of my Whippets and Small Pets video where I explained why you shouldn't be afraid of keeping Whippets and Small Pets together. Now here is something important to say. If you have a rabbit uh, and a Whippet, don't be like, oh my god, I can do this too, because this might not end that well. I'm sure you love your bunny enough to not uh, use it as an extra data enrichment to your whippet. And I'm also sure that Holly's owner is very trusting of her whippet and that's not the first time that she is introducing uh, rat bunnies to her whippet. My god, can I even talk today or what is going on? I love how gentle Holly is with the baby bunnies. That's an adorable video. Thank you so much for sharing. I absolutely love it. Next up we have two whippet boys, Gus and Jet, who seem to be having all the fun in the world together. And I have said many times, if you have one Whippet and you wonder if you should get a second one, just look at this, look at the fun that they're having. Can they have that much fun if they don't have each other? I don't think so. And sometimes when it comes to getting a second Whippet, there is a partner there that is a big troublemaker and doesn't want the second Whippet. And I will give you one priceless advice don't listen to them just get the second whippet and here we have freddy who is trying to hunt on all the flying sky raisins and freddy we all understand we all hate those things i don't know a single living being that likes flies and i'm glad that these are the natural sky raisins and not the spicy ones because then you would be in a big trouble Okay, let's finish this off with two videos showing what whippets do best after sleeping, of course. And you guessed it, that's running. So first we have Yuka having fun next to a lake, I believe. Nice, I love whippets running free. It's so beautiful to see. And here we have Timber, River, Skipper and Bliss. Nice names. And that's what you call fun. So thank you so much to all of you who submitted your footages for the purpose of this video and to my subscribers, I hope you enjoyed seeing some other whippets doing some whippety stuff. So as always, have a great weekend and a wonderful week afterwards. I will see you next Friday, hopefully, with a new video. Bye-bye!